with the new update came out, we gonna have entire playthrough for No Man's Sky. I'm going to explain every step when you get started in No Man's Sky. When you get started in No Man's Sky, you have no memory, you land on a strange world, and you don't remember anything. We land on toxic planet right here. The game will show you step by step what you have to do. When we get started, our hazard protection going down. The hazard protection it protect us from the different atmosphere. The first thing we need to look for sodium. We need to activate the scanner to look for sodium. You can see your scanner is actually damaged to look for sodium. And we need to fix the scanner so we can use it to find the sodium. We need to get 75 for high dust. So how you get for high dust when you get started is from mining mineral. You can see mineral right here. We just need to mine it. There is so many mineral around. And after we get 75 for high dust, we need to open our inventory. You need to click on tab if you on PC, and you can see our scanner right there. We need to fix it. And we just fix it. After we fixed our scanner, I want to explain what you see right now. The multi-tool, that's the weapon we are using right now. That's the class for it, and that's the stats for it. If we go to our exosuit, that's our inventory. You have life support tank, and you have hazard protection tank. And that's our starship, and the goal is actually find our ship. Right now we need to scan with C to look for sodium. You can see we see in sodium right here, NA. We need right now to fill the hazard protection. We can refuel it with sodium. And you can see more sodium right there. We can fill our hazard protection so we don't actually end up dying. After we actually recharge our hazard protection, we got signal source right there. But I see more sodium in the right side. We can just go and collect the sodium because you will need it in the future. When you get started, you need to focus on sodium and oxygen. You need sodium to fill the hazard protection, and you need oxygen to fill your life support. Right now, let's go to the signal, and I'm going to scan and look for sodium on my way to the signal. I want to tell you something. You actually have jetpack fuel. The jetpack is actually fuel automatic. You can click on Q when you jump in. It will take you a little bit far with the jetpack. I'm just gonna go to the source right here. We are next to the signal, and we can also see our ship on fire right here. So we need to check the source actually. Let's broadcast. Okay. After you talk to the source, we need to check the starship right here, and let's click on it. It will take you inside the ship. We need to check right now what happened with the ship because we have no memory how we got here. We need to check the data. Let's connect the exosuit right now to see what happened. Let's repair the system. You can see right now the pulse engine for the ship is actually damaged. And we need two items to fix it. Metal plating and the hormetic seal. I'm gonna show you how to get each one. So let's click E to leave the ship. Right now we need to get the first one metal plating. If you click on your inventory and you click on any empty area, you can see the metal plating right here. To craft one we need 50 for high dust. As I told you, you can get for high dust is from any mineral. I see mineral right here. We need right now to mine it down. Okay. You can see I got 77 for high dust. Right now we need to open the inventory and click in any empty area. Maybe here, maybe here, it doesn't really matter. And we need to craft a metal plating. 
after we craft it, we need to go to our ship and we need to fix the pulse engine and we need to fix it with metal plating. The next part we need the hermetic seal. We need to jump on the ship again and you will actually find the broadcast message on the ship. We actually got signal right here on the ship and we need to request the assistant to search for hermetic seal nearby so we can fix our pulse engine. So let's see. We need to go right now to this stress beacon right here. And it will give us coordinates for the hermetic seal. We need to open the inventory and you can see the coordinates data here. We need to click on it to see the coordinates. You can see the coordinates actually. Before you go you need to scan and you will find the front of us O2 oxygen right there. There is little bit of oxygen around the ship. It's better to collect the oxygen when you actually go into the coordinates. You can find it all over the place. So I'm gonna go to the coordinates right now. You can see so many oxygen right there. That's very handy actually. There is a storm coming, we need to collect the oxygen pretty quick. That's a lot of oxygen to be honest. But it will come very handy for us. The weather is actually getting crazy, we need to go to the coordinates right now. It's still very far, I recommend you to use the jetpack to go pretty quick to the area. You can see our hazard protection and the oxygen tank going down. We need to fill it with sodium and the life support we need to fill it with oxygen. I think I'm getting close guys. I can see shelter right here we need to go inside pretty quick. Okay this one. Let's go inside this one. That actually will protect us from the storm. We need to check the archive right here. It will give us supplies the hermetic seal. You can actually hide inside the shelter around the planet from the storm. I'm just gonna wait here until the storm is over. There is actually navigation data here. The Nanites we actually use it to buy upgrade and everything. I'm gonna explain about it later. I think the storm is gone. Right now we need to find our ship. You can see we don't know where we are and we don't know where is our ship. We need to use our analysis visor so we can see our ship. We need to click on F1 BC. We need now one carbon nanotubes to install analysis visor so we can find our ship. We need to open our inventory and we need to click on multi tool and we need to install analysis visor. We need right now carbon nanotubes. We need to go to our inventory and we need to click on any empty area and you can see the carbon nanotubes that require 50 carbon. So to get the carbon it's pretty simple. You need to mine the flora around the planet. You can see we get a lot of carbon right here in the right of the screen. We got 200. Right now we need to click on exosuit and we need to craft one carbon nanotubes. After I craft one right here we need to go to the multi tool in the right area and we need to install it right now. Let's install it. The scanner is actually very important. I'm gonna show you now why. We need to click on F to scan and we need to scan anything like the creature right here. And we can see all the information and we got 1000 unit. And with the scanner we can see our ship location. We need to open the inventory and you can see we got 1000 unit right there. 
The units is the game currency. You can buy item with it and you can sell item for it inside the space station or trading outpost. I'm gonna show you later. Sometimes you will see this blue plant right here. It's called rich plant. This blue plant, if you take it, you can use 10 second jet pack without fuel. I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna jump quick to my ship. You can see I'm flying right here and I'm not using any fuel right now. Oh, I need to go down. Just be careful. You can go down very quick and you will end up taking damage. I'm actually getting close to my ship. I got the hermetic seal right now. We need to fix the pulse engine with the hermetic seal. After we fix it, we can see the launch thruster is also damaged. And to fix it, we need 50 pure for height and the hydrogen jelly. So right now, let's talk about the hydrogen jelly. To get the hydrogen jelly, we need to click on any empty area inside our inventory. And you can see the hydrogen jelly right there. We need 40 hydrogen. Make sure you take care of your hazard protection and your oxygen tank so you don't go down. So how to get hydrogen? We need to scan. And you can see there is hydrogen crystal right there. We need to go to it. We see so many hydrogen crystal. We can just mine them down with the multi-tool pretty quick. I got only 35, I need more. We just scan and look for hydrogen crystal. And we need to collect some of them right here. I got enough right now, so I need to go to my inventory. And I need to click in any empty area. And we need to craft hydrogen jelly. After we craft it, we need to go back to our ship. Just in our inventory. And we need to fix the launch's raster with it. We did fix it. The last thing we need is actually 50 pure for height. So how to get pure for height? If you on PC, click on Z. There is something called refiner right here. We need actually to craft it. So to craft it, we need one metal plating and 30 oxygen. We need to craft one metal plating with for height dust from the mineral. And right now we need to click on Z. And we need to put a refiner right here. We need to put the fuel carbon. And we need to put in the left side here for height dust. It will turn right here to pure for height. We need little bit more for height dust to turn it to pure for height. I'm just gonna mine down the mineral right here. I got 55 for height dust. Let's turn it to pure for height inside the refiner. Let's cook it right here. We got 55 right now. We need to remove our refiner to our inventory. You can see the refiner in your inventory right here. You can use it anytime you want later. And we need to fix the launch's raster right here. And we did fix our ship. We need right now to jump on our ship. Before I take off, I want to show you something. You can see that's the first mode of the ship right here. It's actually pretty awesome. And there is actually third mode. To switch to the third mode, you need to click on X if you're on PC. And you need to go to the setting and change the view of the starship. It's up to you if you like the third person or the first person. Right now, let's take off with our ship for first time. You can see actually how beautiful it is. It's actually pretty awesome. We need right now to go to the space. And we actually reach it to the space for first time. You can see there is planet and the moon. And you can see nuclear planet right here. And that's actually paradise planet. We gonna check it out for sure. Right now the game want us to test the starship system. We need to boost. Click on on shift and boost on PC it make you go faster. 
To pulse the engine, you need to keep holding space. The ship will move at the speed of light. We got communication right here. We need to slow down with S. We need to click on X and we need to answer the communication right here. Okay. Let's see who is this. Okay, I'm not alone. Okay, let's see the data. It gives us coordinates on the nuclear planet right there. Let's go to it. We need to hold this base and the pulse engine to the location. I'm actually getting close right now and I'm entering the planet atmosphere. Right now we need to land here and we need to scan holding F for the location. I think the signal coming from this direction. I'm just gonna run, oh, some sodium. I'm just gonna run in this direction to find the signal. Keep a scan to make sure you're going to the right direction. Oh, look at this creature right here. I think I'm getting close, I'm scanning right here. We can see the signal source right now. It's actually broken technology. So let's see. 16, 16, 16. It actually gonna give us base computer plan and the train manipulator. So let's see. The base computer is the one we gonna use to build our base. It requires 30 chromatic metal. And we got the train manipulator right here. Basically, the train manipulator is actually amazing. I'm gonna explain in a second. So right now we need to open inventory and go to the multi-tool and we need to install the train manipulator we need two carbon nanotubes and we need one hydrogen jelly right now we need to scan look for hydrogen crystal so we can craft the hydrogen jelly let's farm them all there is actually first person for the character you can switch by clicking on X click on the setting and change the camera view and we can farm the hydrogen jelly like this as well. It's pretty awesome. There is some oxygen here in the right side, we can take it. As I told you, you can get carbon from any flora around any planet. Our hazard protection going down, we need to refuel it. You can see our mining beam is actually run out of the energy. We need to recharge our mining beam. We need to open the inventory. And we need to refuel the mining beam. And we can farm carbon. It's actually getting dark on the planet. I farmed a little bit. We need to open our inventory. And we need to go to the exosuit. We need to craft two carbon nanotubes. We need to click on D to craft two. And right now we need to craft one hydrogen jelly. We need to click on the multi-tool right there. And we need to install the train manipulator. Right there and right there. After we installed the train manipulator, we can actually dig under the ground with it. You can create your own cave and hide from the storm under the ground. You can see in the left side the radiation is low. The radiation go high. So right now we need to look for copper. To look for copper you need actually to click on the scanner. And you can see the resources of the planet. Each planet have unique resources. You can see the planet have copper. We need to look for something that say copper deposit. That's uranium. That's a silver. That one is actually very far. Let's look for something very close to us. I see copper deposit right there. Let's mark it down. You can zoom with the scanner with the right click. So we need to go to it now. I always recommend to try to look for sodium and oxygen on my way. I'm gonna show you later how to advance it. I'm getting close to the copper deposit. I see some rare item right here. It's navigation data. 
you can collect them, they are very important. We can see the copper deposit. There is so many size for train manipulator. You can change between them by clicking on R and T. Make sure you on the smallest one. Let me switch the view. And right now we need to mine the entire copper deposit. Okay, I got more than I needed. We gonna go to that planet right there later. The starlight comes up right here. We need to put the refiner we already made down. And let's click on it. We need to put carbon fuel. And right now we need to put copper. It will actually turn to chromatic metal. And just like that, it's already done. I think 118 is enough. We need to put the copper in our inventory. And we need to take the chromatic metal to our inventory. Right now we need to claim the area. So we can build our own base. You can have actually 400 bases in no man's sky. We need actually to look for good area. I think that area is good to claim it. We need right now to click on Z. And we need to put base computer down. Let's put it here. Let's check it out. And we need to claim the base. We just claimed the base. We need to click on the base again. It's actually warning us there is a storm coming. And it will give us seven blueprint to build the base. So right now we need to build our base before the storm come in. We need to click on Z. And we need to put floor. I think that's good. You actually need carbon to install the floor. We need to put second floor here. We need to put another floor. And another floor. The storm is actually getting intense very quick. Let's put wall here. Right now we need to put door here quick. And we need to put roof. I'm gonna make it very small for now because I don't have carbon and we can hide inside the base. We need to hide inside the base until the storm is over. You can see the thunderstorm happening outside. Finally the storm is actually going away. We can leave the base now and we did survive the storm. We came to the end of the video for today. On the next video we're going to continue our journey. And I want to check that amazing planet. It's a paradise planet. And the paradise planet is gonna be very special. I'm gonna explain more and more about No Man's Sky in upcoming videos. I hope you loved today's video. And I can't wait to show you the next one. I love you guys. And have a wonderful day.